Use light pressure to insert the brush straight, 90 degrees, in between teeth with a gentle wriggling action. Sometimes a slight bending or curving of the wire will allow for the proper angle, especially on back teeth. Ease the brush in. If the brush is pushed too hard or the wrong size is used and the wire buckles, discard the brush. Be careful not to overly stress the wire to avoid breakage. Choose the largest size that inserts without force. The correct size should fit snugly but easily. Move the brush back and forth between your teeth, implants, and under crowns and bridges. Orthodontic patients can also use interdental brushes as they slide between the arch wire and the tooth and remove plaque from around the brackets. It's a simple skill to learn. Stay with it for a few days and you'll become more aware of how to angle the wire and shimmy them between your teeth. If the wire gets wedged between the teeth, gently find the wire with your fingertip on the tongue side and push it toward the gum line and withdraw it by pulling it straight out. Sometimes floss can dislodge it as well. If an interdental brush is carefully taken care of, it may last for a few days. Like toothbrushes, you can wash them out and reuse them until the bristles deteriorate or the base wire has been bent too many times. If you prefer, you can dispose of them after a single use. Although this may cost more than less effective oral hygiene aids, it is far, far less than the costs associated with dental treatment. Unlike a toothbrush, you can keep an interdental brush in your pocket and use it in many situations where it would not be suitable to brush. You should always have one within reach.